So is it safe to travel right now? Is it safe to travel? <clears throat> so the answer depends on many variables, namely how you plan to plan to do so, where you where you want to go, the rate of infections in your chosen destination, your anticipation behavior once you arrive. So <clears throat> I would say no to cruising. No, it is not safe to, to cruise right now. Uh, the cruise in industry is still working out how they're going to um, keep everybody safe, uh, whether they're going to require a mask in um, public areas or not. Um, so all of that is being worked out. Uh, I personally would not go in a, on a cruise in August nor September. Uh, and we'll see what happens for my cruise. I have planned for November. Um, I did a shelter in place vacation or, or little, I, I would say it was a trip because it was two days and it was only four hours away. Um, and uh, in that I people watched, I was able to see the ocean from, from the condo that I was in and, and I social distancing. So it worked out. I, I came back. Okay. Um, so it really depends on if you're planning to go to a resort, um, somewhere, um, you know, the way you have to definitely have to fly, um, like if you're, or if you're planning to go to Hawaii or Puerto Rico, Hawaii and Puerto Rico have very few, um, their number, their COVID numbers is very, it's very low. So for example, here in, um, North Carolina, our COVID numbers is 34,000 people that's tested positive. Over in Puerto Rico is uh, 4,000. I'm just as safe there as I am here, huh? Uh, however, will I be on a resort? Who will I come in contact with while on the resort? The same way I have to do practice social distancing and wearing my mask here, I would do the same thing on that, on that resort in Puerto Rico or Hawaii or Cancun or anywhere that I go. Does that make sense? So in that regards i would say yes the only my only concern is getting on that flight getting on that flight going to the airport and getting on the flight uh and airports and in, in um airlines are they're mo moving to make it very safe requiring wearing mask um they are cleaning things things of that sort so um and just right here it says for example if you're driving your own car which is i did when i did my shelter in place vacation uh, for memorial day driving your own car renting a house where you're where you're, you're the only inhabitant um is quite different from entering a crowded airport boarding a plane checking into a large resort so but i still say i believe that as long as you take all the precautions and the airlines is taking all the precautions um you're still at risk as we are at risk every day, all day, right? If you order food, you're at risk. You go to the grocery store, you're at risk. You have to deliver food to you, you're at risk. I mean, you were at risk, okay? So, um, but I think that if you take all the precautions, you're at a low risk uh, with uh, flying and going to a resort as you are in your own city. Ultimately, resuming travel without a vaccine will come down to the level of risk that makes you feel comfortable and is sure going to look a lot different. And even when they come out with a vaccine, I'm one that's never taken a flu uh, shot, a vaccine. I've never, you know, they have pneumonia shots too. I've never taken, I've never, other than the required vaccines that you had to take as a, as a uh, when you were young, um, for school purposes, I've never taken a vaccine. I've never did a flu shot. So I'm one of those people that would probably not do, uh, the COVID vaccine when they come out with one. So this is going to always be my reality that I'm traveling without a vaccine. Um, and again, you have to make sure at just as when you go in the grocery store, just as when you go to the doctor's office, just as some of you who, who are required to still go to work every day outside your home. Um, that you have to protect yourself and make sure that you take all the precautions that you need to take. And then pray. First pray. Take all the safeties and precautions that you need to take and then pray again and have faith. So um, is it safe to travel again? <laughs> it's getting there. It's getting there. I may do one in August. In fact, I am going to do one in August. Fourth of July, I'm going to Virginia. So, 
Everybody have to make their own decision what's best for them. Just as we make our own decision what's best for us when we go out to eat and, and join, join in all the other activities that's opening up to us um, to join again. This is Ms. Cruiser. Please like, share, and subscribe.